Ladies and gentlemen, it's uh, Ebro in the morning, Laura Styles, Rosenberg. Give it up for our friends from the fader right now. Naomi Yay. and Joseph. 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 Is he really your friend if you didn't know his name? I just said our friends from the fader. You know, you have, a, you have a real, you more than any other interviewer I know in the business today, does not know the name of the people you interview. I know. <laughs> Never. You know, that's very rare, right? Is it? Yeah, most people, they've been prepped on who the person is they're interviewing. You very often go, and who are you, person <laughs> sitting down? <laughs> You're in really good company, no, Joseph. Yeah, like, I'm serious. They're really like. I see him like three times a month at yeah. Beats once. At Beats one. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah. Time. Well, don't feel bad. There are people who have like been on songs and in television shows. And Won't know. Not to mention the poor, the poor guy who was co-starring in Birth of a Nation the other day. He bro treated him like he was furniture. Oh my god. You're like you and the guy you're sitting on. Yeah. Not Nate Parker. The guy next to Nate Parker. Anyways, how are you guys? What do we owe, to? What do we owe this honor to see our friends to the fader? Well, we're here to talk about the new issue we just put out. What's the America issue? The Is that America what you guys call issue, it? issue, yeah. And Serena's on the cover. Yo, time out. Serena yeah. alert. <laughs> Scotty Bean, jump in here. You know you want some of this. Black Serena. girl magic. Oh, here black we go. Black girl magic. Talk. Yes, yes. She's yes, coming. God. Here Person we go. Person everything. <laughs> yes. Yes, yes. And this is your American issue, right? That's so what we Serena, just said. Serena Williams is America. Just Facts. letting you know. <laughs> And you letting me know? No, I'm just letting you guys know. You might want to let the people... I know she was born and in Compton. Like, she's from America. Yeah, she's right. very American. But she right. is America. You Her know story? how mad people are going to be? I... Yeah. I I don't okay. I don't Thank know. you, Scotty. It brought, it that was great. Me joy. I wasn't mad. Yeah, I don't know if the joy. fader not audience. You guys, not just you guys, but yeah, well, some of you watching. I know you're mad. Well, I know the fader <laughs> audience in particular. There's not a lot of like Trump supporters. Like, oh, my fader came, and now <laughs> they put Serena on the cover. <laughs> it's the fader for God's sake, okay? It's not NRA monthly. <laughs> Wait, Scotty, that's all you wanted to say. That was it. That was it. That was it. Yes, that was it. You, Ebro, do you have anything to say about Scotty being wearing glasses and she looks like Homer Simpson when he wears glasses? Like, you know, it's not real. She doesn't need those at all. Fine, fine. Fashion the friends. children, what do I say about the children? There's nothing At this say. point, I can't keep saying the same thing about the kids and their craziness. Tell us, so why why is Serena the cover of this this uh, issue? Sounds fantastic, but why? So for the issue we did, we like followed sort of how do you make a life in America from mm. childhood through the end of life, right? So for how us- How to make it in America. Yeah, something like that. So right. we, nope. okay. uh, she was like the adulthood story. She was like the pinnacle. You know, how do you like choose a path and then completely murk it? like, in a way that has never been done before. Are you asking me? Because I could tell you the same thing. You're talking about Serena. <laughs> I got it. Serena. Yeah, and so we were kind of thinking, is like, how, how did she sort of make herself into an icon when there was sort of no one before her that had done, who had sort of forged the same path? Mm -hmm. And how, and, and kind of now that she's been so successful, how did she see that success and what does she want to do for the rest of her life? Like, how does she want to live So wait, life? so there was a complete photo shoot with Serena. You guys had a big sit down. How hard was that to organize? You know, it took it took some finessing, as as really they always do. Like I think they're all different, but for this, she was she was kind of it was right after the Olympics, uh, in between, right before the U.S. Open, right? Right, and we we went down to Florida where she trains and lives. And how weird is Serena? Like, I, like why how weird though? Why, why weird? Why you mean, weird. Think, maybe not think, normal. No, because I think that from a personality standpoint, I love Serena, but to me, she seems like an odd duck and like socially a little different. Than the average person. If I I'm mean, wrong, please feel free to tell me. I think you would have to be a little different, right? Just the life that she's lived and the sport that she's dedicated. Well, in the time to. that she's been, how long she's been famous and how yeah. hard she's worked. But I'll say this about you asked about how how hard it was to set up. Like it was, it, it did require a lot of finesse, but it wasn't as hard as dealing with some musicians, which is a little mind blowing to me. Are these BVD she's wearing? For the looms, what are those? <laughs> BVDs, you know how old you are? <laughs> but wasn't that the commercial back then? Are those BVDs you were? Yeah, 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 it was a commercial 35 years ago. Yeah, exactly. Um, <laughs> so, so, she, so looks, she looks good on the cover, though. Uh, she I mean, looks amazing. Ebro, yeah. Ebro, can we pass that real quick? Statuesque. You just fall back, Brent. <laughs> this is what you do during interviews. You don't know who the people are, and then you just take a magazine and start reading. You really think you're going to win a Marconi with like this? This is not your path to Marconi. <laughs> um, so she, what was she like though on set when you're shooting with her? Like between takes, is she listening to music? Is she talking to people? Is she? Is she twerking between? Is she questions? doing bad Don't twerks? you dare! What? Calm down with the twerk. She ate slander. lean meats and vegetables. Okay. She hung out with her dog. She loves the dog. She loves the dog. I, you know, I actually we, I didn't go down to the shoot. Uh, my brother was getting married that weekend. But she, we had a, a party with her in New York after her Fashion Week show, right? And they were kind of like, it was very, you know, she did a, a fashion line with, she has a fashion line with HSN. It was mm -hmm. kind of an interesting group of people. There was like HSN people in the room, some fader kids in the room. 
And, you know, Jimmy from Ray Schreiber is DJing. This girl Jubilee is DJing, kind of like a Brooklyn awesome mix pack girl. And and she was just like living, you know? I think like if, if she's weird, it's maybe in just that she can like walk into a room and be super normal. Oh, so she's weird because she's so regular. Mm. Yeah, but that's why I said earlier, I was like, I feel like she, because to me, when I look at Serena Williams, she reminds me like she could be one of my friends. You know what I mean? To me, well, she's friends friends super weird. normal. But I don't know. That's what I love about her. I feel like, like if I see, when I saw Serena, I forgot what, I think it was like Wayne versus Drake. Like I went up to her and I said hi to her and she was super cool. Joseph, do you think it's weird that Rosenberg immediately jumped to weird for Serena instead of just asking about how she was? Like be honest. I mean, it's a little weird just because like, <laughs> like when, why I think, would you when, go I think, weird? when I think of Serena, I just think awesome. Yeah. Right? Like, it's great. Yeah. Me too. Absolutely. In fact, Are you intimidated? <laughs> I feel like. No. no, that's what I'm saying. Me neither. In fact, I can say with confidence and I say this with the utmost confidence and I don't even know you guys that I have watched more Serena matches end-to-end -end than anyone sitting in this room. I've watched her entire career What does that have to depth. do with you calling her assuming <laughs> because, she's weird? Because I am as a fan and someone who has watched her, whenever I get glimpses into her life, I always think she seems like an odd duck. That's totally okay. So maybe it doesn't what change maybe her what brilliance. You're is, maybe what you're saying is you don't expect her personality to be what it actually is. And she's kind of goofy and yes. fun and things like that. Yes, she is Weird not... comes off like you're like, is she a weirdo? Oh, I mean, I don't, listen, people want to be offended by the word weird. I understand that that would be, but it's, I don't mean it in a bad way. I just mean she seems like she mar marches to the beat of her own drum in every way. Like, yes, the traditional, like, to be that dominant athlete, you think you operate a certain way. And from what I see of her... Mm -hmm. I don't see that at all. Like whether it's the person who feels like making random twerk videos or like the monologues that she'll give to her Snapchat or whatever. Right. She's just interesting. She's goofy. Like for sure. Like I my perception of Serena was that she was the sort of like standard of cool. But she's like regular and goofy, loves her dog, loves Snapchat, loves her friends. Knows that she's a bad twerker, does it anyway because yeah. she doesn't care. Yeah. Jumps out with Beyonce at MetLife Stadium and Word. makes sure she plays it cool and doesn't play herself because yeah. if you up there twerking next to Beyonce, that's a moment that will go down in infamy. You could really <laughs> you could play yourself. No, nah, she knew. She, she, she knew not to do that. Um, would you also, in this issue, the America... Is it America issue? That's what that's the yeah, title. Yeah, like the country. Yeah, like the country we live in. I wasn't I sure country. if it was Americana or America, but... Um, Serena's also had a lot of obstacles because of her upbringing, her race, um, even sometimes her, you know, uh, style, her fashion, like these things. Is that played out in the conversation in the magazine? Yeah, and she's very emphatic that sort of anybody who worked as hard as her could succeed, right? Which I think is something that we kind of interrogated a bit in the interview because I don't I don't know if I necessarily believe that that's true just like you know in a larger way that anybody can succeed right like I I haven't seen that play out always but I think that's her understanding of uh her own experience is very interesting and sort of that she just the way she understands herself as being kind of connected to other people and I don't I mean I think what's just really interesting is that she's kind of she spent so long heads down and that experience and all of those challenges and kind of like uh, reckoning with tennis that, I mean, Rosenberg can talk about this better, right? Thank As you. the tennis fan You've in the room. you watch more tennis but than anyone. I, I watch a lot tennis of tennis. Kind of I watch a lot of tennis. No, end to end, more Serena tennis than any Serena watching person mm -hmm. ever in the history of <laughs> No, Serena I just said in this room. In this room. And I keep in mind, I know th three of the people in the room well. I know you're not watching that much tennis. <laughs> you're too much. And I'm I took a guess on both of you guys. I'll be yeah, honest. But how about this? You're not getting to know the real Serena That's when fair. you're just you're watching right. tennis. Totally. How about they that? All I was and this side. fader issue was about the real. You're right. And I, by the way, I'm Serena, reading it's very yeah. the American woman you're right. who just happens to be black and really probably didn't have much of a social life because all she was doing every day, day in, day out, was with For her dad, sure. sister, tennis, and that's that. Yep. Didn't even go to school, right? Homeschooled, yeah. Yeah, so exactly. They, I mean, it makes perfect sense. I guess I'm just, what I'm trying to say is I'm very interested in seeing more of it. Like, I'd be fascinated by a full documentary, two hours of seeing Serena. Right, or what we're going to see 20 years from now, right? She's still relatively young. Yeah. Like, that's what's so crazy. Yes. Wait, how old is she? 35. Wow, it's amazing. Yeah. Um, what are some of the other stories? Because you said that you have multiple stories that you followed in the in the issue. Right, so this was like, like I said, Serena is like the adult pinnacle. And then also we have Michelle Obama in the issue who wrote an essay about why people should go to college. Wow. So that was super cool. Uh, and then we, one of my favorite stories in the issue is we have this crazy sort of portfolio of teenagers. So we had a bunch of teenage photographers all over the country shoot their friends, take portraits of their teen friends, and then interview their friends talking kind of about why they did or didn't want to go to college or sort of what they're psyched about, what they're worried about. 
uh, the so other... So is, is, is the whole issue here is ca- sounds like it's really capturing America at a time where we're going through a major transition culturally um, from race issues to the presidential campaign to economic issues to the reprioritization even of young people who are like, do I really want to absorb all this college debt or can I find another path without taking on all this scary-ass college debt that may not even end in me getting... A, a fruitful career, right? Like, is that what this is really all about that you guys are trying to capture? Yeah, but more so than trying to capture any one moment, because I think we we understand very much that we're not hard news reporters and that we're not political experts or tennis experts, right? <laughs> Thank and, you. Uh, Work I think, on it, please. You know, every every everybody in this issue is living in America right now, right? And I think we wanted to get an accurate portrait of them. But at the same time, we really wanted to capture just these sort of transitions in life that are kind of very enduring no matter what time you live in, you know? Uh, Serena's at the top of her game. After her story, we have a story about a a football player who's retired uh, because he was sort of injured and and was worried he was going to become addicted to painkillers and now he's like a weed advocate, right? So like he's somebody who kind of is on the other side. He's super interesting. Um, Right, you have teenagers who are scared about taking on college debt and then you have Michelle Obama who comes in and is like, go to college. So, And and, and on the flip side, you have... Rather Mike Joseph? the, The other cover, you have the internet which, you know, represent their own sort of, like, journey from sort of kids who love music and just sort of discovering the group together, right? Like, these individuals who found a passion for music and then somehow found each other and really... I sus- love the internet ...subscribe so to this mm-hmm. idea of a group and a collective, you know what I mean? And now are working on independent projects and then coming back together and just kind of doing the whole thing. Is that the the thread of music in this issue as well like how do you because fader obviously is a very music intensive that's what you guys do having serena on a thing obviously is not necessarily music but how do you guys weave music into this conversation there's just a there's just a bunch of musicians that are featured right so we did this internet story we also did a story about this collective called dark world in massachusetts they're just a bunch of kids who kind of taught themselves to make really crazy shit like so I think that, I mean, that's how we engage music throughout was just kind of understanding musicians as people who have real lives and like what's going on in their lives as well. Um, but in some ways, treating them no differently than just a, another teenager or another young person. Rosenberg, um, earlier in this, you criticized me for reading the magazine during the interview. That's right. You currently <laughs> are reading the magazine during the interview. Would you like to share with the class? Anything? I was just actually, yes, I, well, I was just actually thirsting after Serena. Right, in, of course you in, were doing in, that because you're not a professional. Yeah, right. I am doing research. Okay, and what I found was it's interesting that I this Michelle Obama article. There's no picture of Michelle Obama. Like you could you could miss that you guys have an actual article written by the first lady. On the on the internet, we have a very beautiful illustration, but the first lady was on vacation, and, and we you didn't want to run. Satisfied, you were like, we'll take well, just the article. Thanks. They were like. Well, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And they were also like, you know, you could check out the White House Flickr account. We were like, we're go- we're not going to... Like, yeah, yeah we're yeah, good. Yeah, we want our own. Thank you. Yeah. So we definitely... I mean, I feel like the... it's. I'm very proud that the First Lady's office in the process of this making this magazine became familiar with the fader, has like looked at many issues of the fader. Uh, but... Pretty cool. But uh, we were like... Something about fader photography is that we take it. So right, right. Yeah. So, we, so we'd rather yeah. just have nothing. Yeah. Got yeah. This thing called we do it ourselves. Also, I'm very proud of the fact that we can say Michelle Obama is a fader contributor now. Right? Yeah, put her in the dope. masthead, and if the Obama kids ever want to intern at the fader, there's an opportunity. You're putting Sasha it out there. Malia, <laughs> we can get you guys some gigs. Listen, I gigs. will say having the first lady as a contributor kind of balances out for the embarrassment that you guys are tennis knowledge wise. And I really feel that you can use this moving forward. By the way, so many pictures of Serena in here. This is quite the photo shoot. I love it. I love the, really? I love the actual photos. I so do I. I'm very much enjoying the entire And thing. salute to uh, the, the briefs, those BVDs she's wearing. And she fills them out so nicely. I mean, it's a rare woman. I like, this 80s, fill out. I like this 80s camp look. Let me see. Like, this sort of looks like she's yeah. at sleepaway camp in the Did in you the guys 80s. style her or did like she it. come? Did, we, this all her stuff. We styled this shoot. And it's like, I think it's mostly vintage, like vintage sportswear, vintage Nike. It's yeah, really it looks cool. like a Nike t-shirt and like the shorts. It's very cool. This thing's dope. Some 1982 PE shorts. Yeah. From eighth then of, grade. Then, of course, she t- turned around and then the big disappointment at the U.S. Open, it would have been interesting to hear from her immediately after. Yeah. Because now it's getting a little, like, last year she's on the verge of the Grand Slam and setting the record for Grand Slam wins. 
And now it's gone from, oh my God, how much is she going to destroy the record by to kind of like, okay, she needs to get the record. She needs to, yeah. And that's not, it's not a, and obviously when you're fighting age, it's not a foregone conclusion that that's going to happen anymore. I think she will get it, but she's going to have to fight for it a little bit more than I think we anticipated because it seemed like she would never slow down at all. But I think that's exactly, that shows exactly how tough that accomplishment oh. is. Oh like my gosh. If you think about what she did over her career, like 22 is, is a huge number. It's not easy to win one. And the last two years getting knocked out of the US Open just shows you exactly how hard it is. Like with so much on the line, she still can. Well, do if it. you work your Who entire has the record, <laughs> um, Steffi. Steffi. Yeah. Steffi Graf. Yes. If you work your entire life, which the record is 21. 20, 21. Or 22. Two. She's trying to. Does she have a tie? You won. I already lost. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> well, you did an article on her. Wait, answer. time out. Congratulations. I know. I thought you knew more about tennis than anyone. I in said the watched more tennis. I didn't say I read <laughs> in the book. For me, the game for me in the game is not so much about the books, Ebro. It's about the time I spend with the game. Anyways, so if, if you work the hardest you could ever work in your entire life, and you somehow you win one Grand Slam, you are the greatest athlete anyone's ever met around you, right? You like like Ebro. Imagine if you had a friend who had won one Grand Slam. Like, oh my boy Johnny from high school, he went on and won the U.S. Open. He be you'd be like, yo, that's my man. That kid's incredible. She's won twenty. One or 22? 22. She's tied right now. Yeah. She's won 22. Like, that's insane. That's mastering your field over and over and over again. Maybe what she means by it, though, in terms of anyone could do it, because you were saying, like, it's hard for you to even understand, like, is that necessarily true? You could do that if you have parents who are able, willing and able to dedicate their entire lives. Your whole family. Right, the whole family life. is in. And you have, of course, just natural talent on top of it. Then but also, and then happen. and then just, I mean, sheer year in, year, day in, day out, year after year, for since she was 12? Younger. No, no, no. Eight, she was eight, eight, yeah, eight, yeah. Eight, seven, eight years old. They were little. But think oh. about this. She's like, 35. Her, think about that. But, That's a long time. But her father came out, when her father came out and said, my daughters will be the number, the two best tennis players in the history of tennis, everyone laughed at him. Like, they straight up just laughed at him. And it, well, how would you not? Just not, some random yeah. dude being like, "Yo, my daughter's about to be the greatest yeah. of all time." But then, like, all right. and everyone thought Venus was going to be the like the superstar, and then Serena just like lapped her sister. And it's yeah. crazy to see that that journey that she's. It's crazy doing. too because I rem you remember. Sorry, go ahead. You remember I when just, Venus I was just trying to say one. Venus is a superstar. She's right, so right. Beautiful. She is, yeah, sure. <laughs> and she's amazing. She's amazing. By the way, yeah. she, she's, she's won. Still in it. She's it's won more Grand Slam matches, I believe, than any other player, or more U.S. Open wins than anyone in history. She has a ton of wins. Her accolades compared to everyone else are amazing. It's like listen. It's like being Big Boy. Big Boy is an amazing rapper, but he's an outcast. Right, and it's challenging <laughs> to be standing next to Andre 3000 at all times. Big Boy on his own is one of the greatest rappers of all time, but he's sitting there next to Andre 3000. It's like, all right, well, it's you know tough. It's tough. Very tough. It's very so, tough. Venus is one of the greatest tennis players of all time, but her sister's better. But it's also beautiful to see how much they they always always embrace each other. I mean, I know because you know like, there well, could be like all sibling lives right. matter, Black Lives Matter. Well, that was yeah, yeah, and it's 2016, I mean, and like Solange and Beyonce both have number one page, album. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, hold on. But that was weird. Wait, hold on. Venus said all lives matter. Maybe she was being literal. They were like, do you think that someone's life matters? She's and like, she was of like, of course. course, all lives matter. Well, nowadays, you can't, I'm joking, but you, can bear, you can't even say that. You, if <laughs> yeah. you're black and you insinuate that the hum humans, I don't want any of them to die. Yeah. <laughs> no, how dare you? What is wrong? That's not what we're talking well, No, they literally asked me Hold on, the flip if side. I wanted humans about, to live, and I do. Think about hey, how funny. Is this is the best yeah. thing about race in America, right? This is what's so hilarious. Of, okay, white people don't understand how anyone could prioritize black lives. So like you said, black lives matter. I guess you want everyone to die. No. <laughs> However, no. hold on, on the flip side, because black people are just as crazy as white people. If a black person hears you fix your lips to say <laughs> that not just black lives matter, but all lives matter, you son of a bitch. How dare now, you? I guess our lives don't matter at all then, do they? Well, no, no, no. You're in the all, man. Everyone, so you just can't win. I just don't talk about people's lives. I don't want to talk about people's lives. God. I mean, are you in the all? Is that, are you Are you? All? Are we? Really? Really? Yeah. We don't know. Yeah. Uh, we love you guys, by the way. This is very everybody. cool. The America issue, the fader, pick it up on newsstands. Maybe you should subscribe or do something interesting with your life. If you don't have one of these on your coffee table, when people come to your house, you're playing so. I'm gonna because it's a great, it's a great coffee table situation when the fader's laying it. Let's Fantastic. be honest, the photos are always great. The articles are interesting. You can learn some shit about music and get get yourself out of the doldrums of just mainstream music all the time and, and learn something new. Anything I left out of that? Are you saying that you would rather learn about what's happening with Serena Williams and the internet? 
than hear just how the intricate details of the beef between Meek Mill and Beanie Siegel are playing out? <laughs> yeah, I am. Really? Okay. Well, to each his own. You can, you can really have it all, though. You can have it all. On thefader.com. There you go. Whose yeah. numbers I just got a, was doing some research before this. The numbers are through the roof over the list. Yeah, the you up to 180% right percent or something. Why? why? Why was last week so big in particular? Was it these pictures came out or something? Sure. Black Girl yeah. Magic. Yeah. Thanks, Serena. Black Girl Magic. Thanks, Serena. Black Girl Magic. Serena, thank you. 